Hello and welcome to Running ARM Nodes with AWS Graviton on Amazon EKS. My name is Michael Hausenbass and I'm a product developer advocate in the container service team. All right, let's get into it. So first we're gonna talk about why you should bother, why that topic is important. Then we will have a look at multi-architecture applications containerized microservices. Then we will have a look at the current state of ARM support in Amazon AKS, specifically around Graviton and Graviton2. And last but not least, I'm going to show you um, ARM on Amazon AKS in action. All right. So first things first, why should you bother? Why is that important? Well, the key benefit really is that you get the best price performance. We did some internal testing and found that you can get up to 20% lower cost and up to 40% higher performance for M6G, C6G and R6G instances over M5, C5 and R5. Second, we have an extensive ecosystem support. I'm going to talk about that in the part where we talk about multi-architecture uh, in a bit more. Last but not least, you get enhanced security for all your cloud applications, all your workloads. You're probably familiar, uh, if you look at the EC2 instance types with the different families there, you've got general purpose, compute optimized, you got memory optimized. And um, we now with Graviton2 have all these ARM-based instance types um, for you to use in your applications. And how you go about that, we're gonna talk in this section. So if you think about the entire life cycle, starting out as a developer creating for example, containerized microservices on your laptop, on your machine, using a range of tools, Docker Desktop, you might be using Till, DevSpace, Flux, Scaffold, Telepresence, a number of things to develop particular microservices. What you then do is you build a container image, um, for example, Docker build, and push that into a registry. In our case, we take here Amazon ECR, uh, we have an ECR repository. That also is the kind of handover to the operational side of the house, where you have, for example, a cluster admin looking after um, the EKS cluster in this case, and the container runtime technically the kubelet through the CRI, the container runtime interface, pulls that uh, container image from the repository and uh, makes it available to be run on that uh, node in the cluster. And last but not least, this uh, arrow three down here indicates that through the operation, um, through running these containers in your Kubernetes cluster, you derive um, metrics, logs, etc., etc., insights. Uh, you might need to apply bug fixes, so you create a new um, container image, which then gets deployed. Um, you might need to debug something there using things like telepresence or whatever. You um, essentially close that whole uh, cycle here. In order to be successful, you need to make sure that you have support for an architecture across all these different phases. And now we indeed have. Uh, earlier um, this year, we announced um, multi-architecture support in ECR. And today we're gonna have a look at this part here uh, in the runtime, uh, specifically uh, Kubernetes EKS. So without further ado, let's have a look at the ARM support in Amazon EKS, and ARM, in our case, uh, specifically means AWS Graviton2. 
and today we announced that we indeed have GA, uh, general availability for Graviton 2 in EKS. So that means specifically that we're supporting ARM V8 2 and other architectures now as GA. And as already for, um, mentioned before, um, with the multi-architecture support in Amazon ECR, we now have end-to-end -end coverage across the entire um, build and deploy cycle. We have um, EKS and the tooling taking care of architecture-specific configuration. So uh, yourself, you essentially, and I'm going to show you that in the demo, really only need to build the artifacts and everything else is taken care of for you. And you can now also have mixed managed node groups um, in production. That means you can have ARM architecture, ARM-based architecture and other um, in your EKS cluster. We put together a repository here um, on GitHub. Uh, please check it out and um, give it a try. All right. With that, we're switching to ARM in action. What I've done here is prepared a straightforward application in EKS, a Kubernetes manifest that you see here on the left-hand side, containing a deployment and a service. In that deployment, you will see in the spec here, in the container spec, that the image here, ARM 64v8, um, indicates hints at that this is an ARM-based architecture um, in the image used. Clone is the, the demo application I'm using here is a CMS, an open source CMS. Um, pick that because it's you know one of those off-the-shelf components that you might find uh, useful. Same is true for if you build something yourself. Um, so I'm focusing here on the deployment and run part, not so much on the build part. Once that is deployed, essentially just a single pod, so you can see the replica count one here, uh, we're going to do a kubectl port forward of that service from the cluster to my local machine. Obviously, this is only for demonstration purposes. In a real-world setup, you would deploy um, a load balancer, an ALB, for example, um, or um, an ingress. Um, but yeah. For demonstration purposes, that's uh, perfectly fine. So what we expect when everything goes well is exactly uh, that we see this welcome setup uh, screen of plot. All right, let's give it a try. Switching over to the uh, CLI is my cheat sheet. And um, first things first, just so that you actually see that we are um, indeed using a um, Graviton 2 based cluster. Let's have a look at the nodes with the labels there. Um, and you can see here indeed ARM64. All right, that's cool. And um, I already deployed the uh, example here shown you that um, earlier on the deployment and the service here. And um, so we can now directly have a look at um, you know, the deployment, the parts and the service. Well, just one part there, right? And we see everything is up and running. This is the part here that we're going to uh, have a look at in a moment and the service that we're going to port forward to the local machine. All right, the next thing that I want to do, in the same way we verified the nodes, the EC2 instances running in that EKS cluster, I want to have a look at the pods. I'm going to peek into the pod. This is roughly the equivalent of SSHing into a machine, so kubectl exec. Um, what I'm going to use here, think of it if you're not familiar with um, communities, with containers that this command is roughly equivalent to SSHing into a node. So let's take that here um, and 
um, once we have SSH into that node, we, how do we figure out what we're dealing with here? We're in that uh, pod now. Well, we simply have a look at proc version, right? There we should see and actually find uh, the ARM 64-bit architecture. All right, so we know that part that we launched there through the deployment is indeed um, a ARM-based uh, pod architecture running on an ARM-based Graviton2 uh, EC2 instance in our EKS cluster. All right, so that's fun. And now to the core of what I promised you earlier on, uh, the port forward. So once we do that, which takes the service running in the cluster that we defined earlier on an example.yaml, the manifest, and forwards the traffic to um, 8888, port 8888 on my local host here. So let's give that a try. That should work now. Let's switch over um, and have a look at localhost 8888. And indeed, we see Plone is up and running. So we have deployed a common, popular uh, open source CMS on an ARM-based architecture on Graviton2 in our EKS cluster. And with that, we have wrapped up the hands-on session. All right, coming back here, um, succeeded. And uh, as you can see, it's really straightforward. All you have to do is using an ARM-based um, container image and EKS takes care of the rest for you. So now, if you have any questions or you have feedback for us, remember now on um, EKS uh, has, ARM has Graviton2 in GA. Um, so if you have anything there you want to discuss, my name is Michael Hausenblas. On Twitter, I'm M. Hausenblas. Uh, good old mail, hausenbull at amazon.com. Or uh, come and visit us on our virtual booth during KubeCon or jump on the uh, uh, chat. We hang out uh, later on together um, and yeah, ask us whatever you like and tell us what you would like to see next. Thanks a lot.